Hey guys, it is Thursday, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. So I posted a memorial um, thing on my Facebook page um, with an art link to an article about Pearl Harbor. For those of you who don't know, today's Pearl Harbor Day. Um, all right, anyways, I am obviously, my hair's wet. I've already got my all my daily writing commitments done and I got um, my exercise in for the day and I was chit chatting with Miss Cindy a little bit, doing some business planning and brainstorming. And um, I'm gonna head out now and I'm gonna run back over to Maido, the Japanese stationery store over on Santana Row. I wasn't gonna do this today, but I just, you know, I just feel like doing it. So we're going to, it is 11, almost 11.30, which means by the time I get there, it's going to be full on lunchtime, so parking is going to be fun, but that's okay. I can deal with it. Now, I've got a $5 credit, and I think there's other like credits in their computer system over the store, so I'm going to go use them and pick up a few things. Um, but because I'm doing all this purging and cleaning, we're going to be very careful about what we pick up, that we really can use it. That's it for right now. I'm going to see too if I can get some filming done for you guys on YouTube so that you have something to watch besides the vlogs. Because although you've been seeing art videos from me, I haven't actually filmed one um, in like a month. I was just scheduled out, so <laughs> I need to get on the ball there. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back.
so that's Daiso. For those that don't know, both. Oops. So that's Daiso. For those that don't know, both Maido and Daiso are Japanese stores. One is a Japanese stationery store, and one is a Japanese dollar store. Um, over here in the U.S., it translates to a dollar fifty and up. So not everything in the store is like a dollar fifty. It's a dollar fifty and up. So some things will be three dollars as much as I've th seen things as much as seven dollars in this store. So you have to look at what you're buying. If it doesn't have a price tag on it, it's probably a dollar fifty. If it's not a dollar fifty, it usually has a price tag. But it's always good to ask. So now it's one o'clock and uh, everybody's out for lunch or they're finishing up lunch and going back to work. So I think it's time for us to go home. I have to stop at the postal place and get the mail, mail out a couple more packages. It's been a heavy mail week, me sending a lot of things this week. So, which is good and bad, but yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go do that on the way home and then I can go home and stay there like that and tomorrow we have our first Christmas event to go to so I have to figure out what we're, kind of food we're gonna bring but that's tomorrow and that's another day I'll be back hey guys it is Friday December 8th and I'm pretty sure the dates correct <laughs> yesterday was Pearl Harbor Day so that means today's the 8th um, this little like multicolored sparkly blob is an experiment so I put this is um, this dirty thing in the background is a nonstick craft sheet and um, it's had alcohol ink and stuff spilled on it anyway I also um, it's got a couple holes and things in it it's got some resin on it so it's seen better days and I decided today to take the opportunity of the fact that this craft sheet's pretty narfed up um, to use a Shannon Green word um, to actually pour out some nail polish on it in my collection of polishes here in the craft room because I don't really use nail polish um, to make see if I could make sort of a nail polish skin which I think would be interesting to add to journal pages and stuff yes it stinks but Look at those colors. So I just dropped it on there and swirled it around with this toothpick. So we're going to let that dry and I'll be back uh, to show you what happens, you know, probably tomorrow. We'll let it get good and dry and I may put a coat of um, some kind of like varnish or something clear over the top of it just to give the polish some extra... Um, thickness and strength for when I pull it up. So we'll see what happens. I am busy working on the Etsy shop today and I've got this stack of paintings of which none of them are listed in the Etsy shop. So I'm going to be taking photographs and changing that today. There's a bunch of stuff, these big ones, and then I have a few little ones. So I'll be working on that today and getting them listed. If you're interested in some original art and you want it for a good price, go check out my Etsy store. The link's in the description. All right, that's it for the moment. Hey guys, I'm here at the gas station with my husband, uh, filling up the car before we go get a couple groceries. We're supposed to go to a potluck tonight um, and movie night with the Masonic Lodge. They're showing It's a Wonderful Life, which fabulous old movie. Um, but for all you guys out there organizing potlucks, I have a distinct bone to pick. Like, at least give your guests some kind of guidance. Tell them, bring a main dish, bring a salad, bring a dessert, uh, bring a side dish, whatever. Um, but to just say, bring something. <laughs> just, I, I, so I think we're going to make some lasagna and uh, make something that's sort of a complete meal in of itself so that I know <laughs> people at least have something healthy-ish to eat. Um, and it's not all cake and pie. Um, yeah, so anyway.
All right, we're gonna fill up with gas first. See, say hi, wave hi. <laughs> He's such a goofball, but I love him. I think I'll keep him. It's Saturday, December 9th, and we're puppy sitting again. Hey, Lily. What's out there out the window? It's your favorite thing to do. Look out the window. So it has been a crazy, crazy, crazy day. We didn't, I didn't get everything I wanted to get done, accomplished, but I did get some stuff done. I got a lot done. We had a little incident with the outdoor decorations, but it's all done. Thank goodness. And of course, all the bulbs were working before we hung them up, and now I see three of them that are out, but I don't know. It's going to have to stay that way for now, I think. So it has been a long day. It is Sunday evening, and I'm going to go inside and just sit down now. Um, I've got a big pile of purge stuff, but most of the Christmas decorations are wrapped, and yeah, I think we're ready, just about. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. So we're, it is Sunday, uh, Monday, December 11th. We're out running some errands, Christmas errands, and we just saw a sign, well, my husband saw a sign, because I'm driving, for Korean fried chicken, and we're kind of trying to figure out what that means exactly. So if it was Indian fried chicken in it, we decided it would have lots of curry, right? Mm -hmm. So and if it was Kentucky fried chicken, it would have a lot of well, they have all them southern secret have spices, a, right? Have a lot of spices on it, right? But what is Korean fried chicken? I don't understand. We'll have to try it when it opens. Yeah, it's going to be a new restaurant, evidently. So we might have to try it because we like food adventures. As you probably know, if you've been watching. Blog. In 1,000 feet, so turn in. right. There's Jeeves telling me how to go. Because, you know. Jeeves is an idiot. Well, we're not going the way he's going to recommend. So he's going to get all the problems. He's going to get annoyed. Turn right onto Cotton Road. He's going to get really annoyed. Anyway. It's a good thing it's not Tony from New York. <laughs> no. Like, Yo, it's make Jeeves. a right turn, would you? No, it's Jeeves. No, if it was Tony from New York, he might use foul language while, he's, while I'm driving and going the wrong way. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, Mickey, you turn it, idiot. Yeah. What All are right. you, stupid? So. In 3.1 miles, turn left onto Coleman Road. Hey, there it goes. All right, so that's it for right now. We're going to go run some errands and see what other trouble we can get into. We'll be back. Bye-bye. Okay, hey guys, it is Tuesday, December 12th. I spent the morning getting on the treadmill, as you saw. If you're watching this, you've seen that part. And um, chatting with some of my friends, the Zoomers, and doing an Etsy store inventory, fixing a couple of issues. And that reminds me, I have an Etsy shipment before I leave the house. So let me go grab and get it. I'll be right back. Okay, got it. Woohoo, now we can go. So, filling Etsy orders, taking inventory, and then my husband helped me do something I've been putting off for like a million years. Cleaning out a few cabinets in the kitchen, <laughs> um, including cabinets of dry goods. And all I will say, I won't go into specifics, but 
I haven't done significant amount of cooking or baking in at least four years, maybe longer, since I got hurt at American Greetings the first time, which is almost five years ago. And I haven't bought a lot of dry goods since then. And while we didn't have, you know, giant hordes of bugs and stuff in there, I will say gross. <laughs> and we threw out a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. We also cleaned out some cookware and baking things that we don't need, we no longer use. It's just the two of us. So how much stuff do we really need? So I got rid of a bunch of stuff. And so now I am headed off to Goodwill again um, to make another donation. <laughs> another, because my back of my car is full again. And um, yeah, so it's all going away. And then I'm going to go get the mail and then go home. And I've got a stack of things that need washing. You know, things they sit too long in the cabinet and they just... They're not dirty, but they're dusty. And so I need to just rinse them all off. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. It's Wednesday, December 13th, I think. Let's see, wait. Oops. I think it's the 13th. Where's my calendar? Yeah, it's Wednesday the 13th. Um, I am here, obviously, in the living room. I'm going to watch uh, Mr. Mike Deacon's vlog, and I've been doing paperwork, computer work, answering messages, um, starting a load of laundry, you know. <laughs> We're going to go out in a little bit and go do some fun stuff. Uh, I will film it for you. I don't want to give too much away, but it should be pretty fun, and... Uh, yeah, that's it for right now. Okay. I'll be back. We're in downtown Los Gatos, right? Yeah, in the back end of it. The back end of it, near the library. Here's the back of Los Gatos. Uh, there we go. We are looking for the new museum of Los Gatos because guess what? They have an Arto map machine. So we're going to go find one and pull some knobs. Pull some snobs? <laughs> pull some snobs, yeah. Some yeah. knobs. Some knobs. Pull knobs. Me. I'll be back. Guess what I found? We're at the New Museum of Los Gatos and I'm told to hold some knobs. Let's go look around. That's cool. Okay guys, so after my husband and I were done at the new Museum of Los Gatos and um, doing our part to support our fellow artists by pulling some knobs on the Artomat machine, we decided to go on a nice long walk around downtown Los Gatos 
which are the scenes that you're seeing now. And they were all decked out for Christmas with wreaths everywhere and lights. And it was really pretty. It was a bit chilly, um, but we enjoyed it nonetheless. It was really a great way to spend an evening. We hope you all had a great week and that you're having a great holiday season. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. Like, share, and subscribe if you would. And if you can support my channel by, shop, by shopping in my uh, Amazon wish list or donating to my tip jar, that sure would be appreciated. Go out and have a great week, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I hope you have a very happy holiday season. Thank you.